So, Joanne, after such a intense and I may say mind-blowing experience in in this premise uh, of SAP and HPI, yes, um, it's really uh, great having the opportunity to just, just spend a few more minutes uh, with you. Um, we we said it would be quite interesting if you could maybe introduce what is this space for, mm -hmm. what's the idea behind, and yeah, why did we come here? What is it that we, I mean, I can answer it, but what is it that you feel is, is uh, possible to do here? Well, this is an innovation space. As you can see, we have a lot of design thinking opportunities. Here are our whiteboards that we use. Um, HPI, as well as SAP, use this space for many things, one of them being the um, creating design thinking opportunities for people in, at all levels of life. So we, we have, um, we worked with young women a few weeks ago and they were from underserved communities and we were looking at sustainable development goal number 11. So we focused specifically on pollution, air pollution and health. Um, as well as leadership for these young women. And that was just one example of something we did um, in the design thinking space. We also are doing a series of um, exercises and workshops on designing your life. We're working with universities because a lot of students, um, when they start the university in the United States, don't really know exactly what they want to do. And designing your life is not just about career, but it's more holistic. It's about work, health, love, and play. Those are the four areas that are focused on in designing your life. So we've been doing a number of workshops in, that, in those areas. We also have our professors here on a regular mm -hmm. basis and give talks in the IT area. Um, we had one recently on the intrinsic geometry of large networks. We had another one, one of our professors, we had him speak at the United Nations on data science. And what is a data scientist? What's the role of a data science, scientist? Um, so we, have a, we all have, so had a MOOC conference on massive open online courses. Mm -hmm. We had a cybersecurity conference here. Um, so we have, and we had our, the Global Design Thinking Association had, this is, we had the first ever meeting of the Global Design Thinking Association here, as well as the second mm -hmm. um, in August this year and August last year. So we're doing a lot of different activities. Yeah, and I, and I can say from uh, our uh, endeavor uh, with the Ad Expert Seminar, um, we really enjoyed uh, diving into uh, a design thinking uh, sprint um, to really reflect how universities can uh, play a pivotal uh, role in the transformation uh, of uh, or cost through digitalization for the societies. And in this regard, um, what was quite impressive was this um, playfulness, mm -hmm. the, um, uh, also this supporting each other uh, habitus. So um, I could see within a few hours that uh, people would really uh, go very deep into this uh, dialogue. Um, and that's something I'm surprised and, and happy to see. But I guess you will uh, have that often when well, people work here. Yes, and in, in design thinking, that the part of that is to pre create trust and empathy, not only with the people using the product or the um, process that you're developing, but also with each other within the group. And so we try to foster that by looking at um, building on the ideas of others, not judging each other. These are all parts, very important parts of the design thinking process that we try to foster and we try to, when we do this, we try to create a safe space so people feel safe really talking about things and going outside their comfort zones and coming up with wild ideas. And, and um, that's successful design thinking. That's part of the success of design thinking, if you can foster that, that kind of attitude. I feel the ideas were on the table and uh, given the short uh, amount of time, that's impressive uh, in itself. But then we also touched it, what's, um, what's possible next? Uh, how to proceed, how to maybe implement some of those ideas. Um, what's uh, maybe your recommendations? You know Germany, you know the um, situation uh, over there. Uh, what do you imagine uh, people could take home with them? So one of the, the things that you often get people to do design thinking, and they get really excited and they go back, whether it's in their companies, in their universities, then you need buy-in from your colleagues. And what you have to, what, what we find is really essential is that you have the decision makers doing the design thinking and learning about it, and the people that can actually have the 
the, um, I don't know, power might not be the exact word, but those people that can, they're influencers in their own community so that they can get others on board. And um, that convincing is really essential. Sometimes it's also a resource question. You know, you need the funding to implement some of these ideas. But I think that there, many of them are doable in Germany without lots of funding. I think mm -hmm. part of it is an attitude shift. Also, one of the groups I, I saw was talking about how might you get people that are, have, are, are maybe intimidated by IT and new technologies to get on board. And I think this was, an, this was a, also a topic that we were discussing. We were doing design thinking with some SAP clients as well, and this same topic came up. Mm -hmm. Because there are all these new technologies and you have to be constantly learning, and, and this is something that I think that's, that's one of the big challenges. And you need to have a culture of learning, a culture of learning, and not just learning, academic learning, but also IT learning. Um, and, and that, if, if you can get people here that can bring that attitude back with them. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, I don't want to be idealistic. It's not a simple action. Yeah, but maybe uh, it's possible that we continue to uh, uh, collaborate on this end because uh, from our um, understanding, universities, higher education can really uh, have um, a, a great capacity to support societies handling these shifts that are uh, taking place right now and so I'm very much looking forward for this opportunity and I thank you again for You're welcome for and, and, and I just wanted to add one thing I mean we HPI we have you know, open HPI which is massive op open online courses that are free where we're giving people the opportunity to learn a lot of the technologies in a very um, you know on, in their own time they can do these massive open online courses and so this is another way that you can mm -hmm. do it. but thank you I, it was a pleasure talking to you too thank you